Good evening. Hey, good evening. And officially, I am recording. It is going. I will not. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm watching. I'm watching the numbers <laughs> tick away as we speak. Uh, hello, and how are you? I'm good. Great. Good. Great. Happy. Uh, happy Saturday. Our our final scenario playthrough for the basic scenarios. Here we are. Can't believe it. This is it. It's been a great journey on this. It sure has. This title. Yes. I kind of just been thinking about it all week, and of course, just in the last few minutes, I'm looking at the map and trying to put together some plans, but you know what happens to people who plan. They're just, it's all going to fall yeah. apart into tears. But uh, let me take a moment to welcome everybody to the uh, the last basic scenario playthrough, scenario number eight, That Devil Forest. We're doing the rematch tonight, so I will be taking the Confederates. Roger will be taking the very quick marching. I bet, I will bet you anything that you will roll fives and sixes on wood tonight, and you will you will be in my face before I know it. So I'm calling it. I'm pointing to the left field stands right now for you, Roger. Okay. Um, but I don't know. Uh, he's been disappointing this. Uh, I know, right? This game right. so far. But that just means when we play the campaign, he's going to be the MVP. I I feel it in my bones. But uh, welcome to every, anybody watching this after the fact on YouTube. We appreciate you joining us for this long journey, and the fact that you stuck with us means that uh, there is something of interest here for you, and we really appreciate all the feedback and support that we get uh, week in and week out. So thank you again for that, and we hope you will stick around because our plan is we finish this. Roger's going to go take a little vacation next week, and then when we come back, we're going to be fresh, and we're going to start our campaign. We're going to do scenario number nine, which is the advanced campaign called Hood Strikes North. And we're going to go through 32 turns, maybe. Uh, depends on how, what the instant win conditions are. This will give me a couple weeks to familiarize myself, because I know you have already. And uh, we were, we, this is, this is our first real advanced campaign. So this is, I think, a great, great starting point for you. And of course, if anybody out there is just getting into great campaigns, this it looks to be a fantastic scenario campaign scenario for you to start with so i would recommend it and i will know better after we played a couple times but i'm quite certain that it's it's a very modest counter density we've seen all the forces at play and i think this is going to be wonderful so i'm i'm very much looking forward to it but let us turn our our thoughts here tonight to this we won't go into too much detail because we did that last week and the scenario itself only has three special rules and yeah, not, a lot. not a lot. So uh, if you want to, if you would like to take point on this and just give us a quick overview of it, I'll, I'll let you talk for a little bit. And I'll drink a sip of water here and uh, tell us what we're doing tonight. Well, this is, as you mentioned, Scenario 8, That Devil Forest. This is the very tail end of the campaign. Historically, most of the Confederate Army is now off map. We have the small rear guard that uh, you are controlling tonight. And my job as the Union is to try to get a the infantry into Linville or the colored church hex. Special rules, very simple. Tide initiatives, slow go to Union, high go to the Confederate. You get the first initiative, and um, if you retreat off map, there is no penalty. And uh, VP losses are minus two for the Union and plus three for the Confederate. Yeah. And it is my responsibility tonight to get points. And, yeah, this is exactly where we started, except for going the opposite direction. That is right. And as you demonstrated last week, and, and again, uh, our usual disclaimer, if you've not watched the first playthrough, this one more than likely will be the complete opposite. So go back, stop this now, go back and watch the first <laughs> one. And if you haven't clicked the subscribe button, do so, because it will tell you when I post them, and then that way you won't miss out. But uh, tonight... My big decision, and you pointed it out in the after action report last week, is how far forward do I take Forrest and Chalmers to blunt the advance? That, I think, on the decision tree is the first big choice that the Confederate player has to make. And it may pay dividends, depending on if you get subsequent initiatives. You only get the first free one. And uh, how, how far are you willing to let Waffle go without any cavalry support and can the union capitalize on getting around that either flank so i i have i've looked at a several i mean you you point out two or three good spots and i really don't know i guess it just depends on the die roll of course how far i may take them 
But uh, what, are, what are your thoughts on the on the union side tonight? Well, yeah, I've got I see three avenues of approach, you know, down the railroad, down the pike or through Dreyer to Gibbonsville. And depending on what you do is going to depend on what route I try to take. Have... And hope I roll, as you said, fives and sixes, <laughs> That's right. not, and not ones and twos. And of course, with the cab, I need uh, ten or more, I think, really, to get uh, to make this not a, a desperate lunge at the end. Right. Yeah, we um, and, and for for newer players out there, we don't want to say that it always comes down to the dice, but it's going to come down to the dice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> To some extent, that's that true. true. And in these short scenarios, it's really hard to sit down and say, okay, I've got this long-term strategy because we've only got two days. Each unit has, in my case, I don't even have eight fatigues on my cab. They've already got a fatigue, exactly. so I've only got seven on them. And, and, and How hard do you push do you on want day it right? one? Do you want or... to take them to four so that they have three tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've got a huge manpower advantage, but bring as Wood has proven repeatedly, he cannot seem to bring it to bear. Well, he just cannot seem to get there. As we like to do every time, uh, <laughs> we're, we're going to disprove that. So. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'd like to go out on a win uh, tonight. Yeah, but we'll yeah. see how it how it goes. All right. Well, uh, I will take my first initiative. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do any, uh, cavalry i mean any leader transfers so no leader transfers for me and obviously you don't need one because you're stacked with everybody <laughs> so i will Everybody then wish can. you good luck sir yeah good luck to you as well and um i will take my first free initiative i believe forrest just activate everyone in his current stack and he'll leave chalmers where he is so everyone here will get a fatigue and here is their movement of plus three, and it's an eight. So that does make some decisions for me. So I think we'll do this and take force group one, two, three, four, five, six, and Jackson one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there. Uh, initiative. It's still mine. I will have Forrest activate Ross and Bell. And they will each build an entrenchment to Abatee. And initiative. It's still mine. Okay. I will have Walful activate. We'll go. A minimum of one to their initiative and now it's yours okay so you chose a forward defensive position well you, you get eight points you might as well use eight points yeah wilson is going to activate hammond by himself yes okay he's going to pick up his second fatigue not exhausted so no extend march just going to be two dice plus uh two for him so it's three, four, five. So it's going to be that kind of an evening. One, two, three, four. He's just going to go to there. 16, 19. One, two, three, four, five. Initiative. It's mine again. Yeah, I'm going to take Hammond to fatigue three by himself. So here's his movement. To nine. Here's his extend march. It's a five. Um, he's late Union Cavs, he so there's be okay, no right. modifier. Well, he can't cross the creek because that's actually a minor river. So he's just going to be able to do a min move to there. Uh, initiative. It's yours. Okay. I'm going to pass for the moment. Okay. Uh, Wood is going to activate Kimball for movement. It's going to be one die plus one for him. He gets a six. Called it! It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're going to take... Okay, Kimball's going to move. Wood is going to go with him. So that's one to there, two, three, four. 
I have to decide. Oh, you could make a cav retreat. Yes. Definitely can make a cav retreat. Um, I have two left. You two have two ones. left. Uh, we we hear chatter that uh, there may be an attack coming. Hmm. Question is, do I want to see if you can do that? I got three now, so you'd have two to one. I should have I should have put a flanks refused up. We will make a cav retreat. So they will each go up one and flip. So I got three and a half, which is a very large force. So mm -hmm. that's plus two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes, plus two. Right. Okay. So here is the roll, and it's an eight. It's done. So you lose four, and they will go out of their appetite and go one. Two, three, four to there. Okay. Uh, initiative. It's yours. Okay. Boy, I don't know how you did so well last week. I mean, mentally dealing with the fact that you have so few units. I need, I need more moving parts. You know, this is. Uh, <laughs> you've already knocked out. Yeah, that you've was knocked that out was... two people, more or less. That that to me was the hardest part. Was something again you've hammered into me. Sometimes the best thing is to do nothing, right. and I just had to keep going fast, right. fast, cross fingers, and and the die roller came to my defense yep. and kept it kept me in the game. I think um, what we'll do here is um, I'll have Armstrong go to three, and he will dig in again. So we'll add an abatee, and there we go. He's one and a half, so we got two there now. Uh, initiative, it's mine again. I'll pass for the moment. Okay, Wilson, let's see. He's going to activate Croxton, Harrison, and Coon. Two die plus two for them. It's ten. Wilson's going to go with them. One. He'll go with Coon, but I'm going to move them each separately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the other two guys are just going to go to the same spot. I thought I could do something a little more fancy. It's different, but I don't see how I can do it. Not with being a fatigue one. Uh. Init. Chores. I think, uh, yeah, Forrest will activate Crossland to two. Here's his movement, plus three. Hey, six. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, you know. One, two, three, four, five to there. Initiative. Yours. Okay, I don't know if this is the right play, um, but we're going to go this route with this play. Um, we're going to activate Coon, Harrison, and Croxton to T3, and we're going to attempt a core assault on Armstrong and Ross under Jackson. Here's the attempt roll. Does not come off. Initiative. It's yours. Well, okay. <laughs> Um, so I'm thinking out loud here. If Forrest were to make an assault attempt in response on Wilson, uh, it would be one for assault, one for tactical, one for the Forrest bonus, and then two more for final flank. Correct. It's five up, but you've got seven, one to seven, so that's a minus six, and you've got artillery, so that's minus seven, so it'd be a negative two. So... Manpower is woefully deficient, and I'd have to roll really well. So that that would be what's known, kids, as a bad attack. But that's never stopped people before. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay. So we're gonna we'll activate Biffle, and uh, Chalmers will march him to one. Here's his movement plus one, uh, plus two. And uh, it is an 8, which I don't believe is enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nope, one shy. Dang old man. I tell you, Roger, if I didn't have mediocre luck, I don't know that I'd have anything. The roads in this, <laughs> on this map, <laughs> just, just, they it, never it, seem to be exactly what you need. There's always that extra zag you got to take. There's the zag, it's and it's like, on. oh, I'll just go over land. No, you're going to go into rough, which is five. <sighs> All right, so I'm just going to have to trust one, one two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I need a couple yeah. of initiatives here. Initiative? Nope. Back to you. Kimball's going to go to fatigue two, and this die roll could be very important. So it's one die plus one. It's going bowling. It's a five. Ooh. MP of five. One, two, three. So he has two remaining. Yeah, but seven to one is terrible. Uh, so we have to get out of there. Uh, it is a minus two, I believe, because I am just a small force. Yes, so minus two to this roll. That could be ugly. Here's minus two. And there you go. I've given you points oh, wow. already. So that could be devastating in this game. So we will take the one manpower loss. So I managed to do what you managed to avoid doing last week, which roll on a one. So, yeah, um, which is pretty amazing for me. And, uh, did, did not uh, impact you at all. So I have two movement points remaining. So he's going to go one to there. He has one remaining. What would Jackson and his crew like to do? They are a two, so you would be three to one, uh, and you'd be a minus one for an attack. And I've got artillery there, so I'm going to stand. Okay. Uh, that's not an attack I want to make at this time. So we're going to stop moving. Uh, init. It's mine again. Okay. So let's, before you get Buford in my way, which you probably will do, I'm going to sit. Betty's going to go to fatigue one, and he's just going to get a single die roll. He gets to go four. One, two, three, four. Locust Hill initiative. It's yours. I have Forest activate Bell. Come out of his entrenchments. And here's his movement. 12. Here's his extended march. He's okay. He's going to go 5, sit, uh, 6 to there. Oops. And put up a flanks refused. Uh, oh, and uh, Forrest will go over to him. Initiative. It is low ties, so that is Union. Okay, we'll activate Elliot to fatigue one. Here's this movement, single die roll. It's to go three. And down the pike. Whoa, one, two, three. Initiative. It's mine. Elliot to fatigue two. Again, just a single die roll for him. He gets to go a whopping one hex. I, I'm going to force march him, so he's going to go to disorganization. He has one, one MP at the moment. That's all he has. So he's going to go to disorganized. And we're going to roll, see how far he goes in addition to this one. He gets to go two without losing any manpower. So he can go three hexes. So he's going to go one, two, and three to there. I assume Chalmers will biffle. Yeah, stand, that's right. Okay. Initiative. It's mine. Uh, we're going to take Betty to fatigue two. One die roll. He can go two hexes. Really would have liked to see a four, or five, or a six. 
He's going to go one, two to there. I assume Bell and company will stand. Yes, they will. Initiative. Low ties to me. <laughs> the pain! The pain! Um, well, let's see how this works. Take Vady to fatigue three. Here's his movement, which is the two. Here's his extended march, which is a one. So I'm rolling very low. Do I want to catch? Oh, you can make it. Yeah. I can't retreat. Yeah, you can. <sighs> I see it as a plus five is what I'm seeing. Go through your numbers again so I can see. Uh, so the flank, the final flank is a plus two. Mm -hmm. uh, the ratio is ten to two, so that's uh, five to one. So plus four, right? Plus four for ratio. Okay. So that's plus six up. Uh, there's tactical of minus one. Huh? Uh, there's no terrain. Artillery, I have three guns to your Oh, you do have one. the three guns. Yeah, yeah right. I, I was thinking that, uh, right. I thought it was, because I'm so used to seeing the other two have two. Uh, okay, so you yeah. do have that covered. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that would be a five. So yeah, that 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 makes a huge difference. So I will five. flip. Uh, we will manpower disorganize. Uh, here's a plus two to this roll. So plus two. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get to day two, Roger. Um. Okay. So we lose manpower. Decrease. And I give you another victory. Ta -da. So you're at six now. And one to there. Two to there. Three, four, and then we'll go five and six. Okay. All right. Good job, Beatty. I had a move. I had a movement of two. You had two, right? And uh, and I did nothing. I've already got Chalmers in trouble. You do. Wood's got him covered. Yeah. Two. Uh, Inet. It's yours. Mm. This just went, <laughs> it went sideways so fast. Yeah, I did. did. <laughs> two ones on Cavertreat. Uh, I'll take Walthold to two, and with the impending storm coming, we'll go ahead and entrench him. And uh, I just may let you play this out here. Uh, initiative is mine. We'll get Chalmers out of there before he breaks something, so increase that. We'll activate Biffle. Here's movement plus two. It's ten, so he'll go four to there, five, six. We'll just do that. Okay. Okay. Initiative. It's yours. Okay. We'll activate uh, Hatch. We'll activate Stewart. Two die plus one for him. So you can go ten. You can go one, two, four, five. Six, seven, and eight to there. Uh, initiative. It's mine again. We'll take Stuart to T3. Here's his movement. Two die plus one. Actually, where's Wilson? Wilson is right there. Two die plus two. Activating with Wilson. Nice. It's 11-13. <laughs> okay. Extend March. He's okay. He's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I think so. I think I'll stop there. Initiative. That's yours. High ties go to me. Uh, I will... Activate Ross to four, and uh, he will do an extended march. He's okay, and he will put up a flanks refused. Initiative. It's mine. Um, let's, let's go big and go home, baby. Uh, Bell goes to four with Forrest. There's the movement. It's 10. Here's the extended march of plus 1. It's okay. We'll go there and make a prepared cavalry attack on Hatch. It's 
Stewart. So we've got plus one prepared, plus one tactical, plus two final flank, and then a minus three for one to four. What are all cab banal? Isn't there? Oh, plus it is plus one right, right, right. It's plus yeah. So that is a, a, a an even attack. That is right. Plus one. So here is a uh, Union left, Confederate right, looking for a plus two, and no dice. So uh, minus two. Uh, I, it's a D for me, which I'm already D, and uh, I believe a D for you. F. It's an F for oh, me. Okay. Minus two yeah, That's enough to f fatigue him out, I guess, but not enough to break the stranglehold on Jackson. Initiative, it's yours. And for those of you just arriving late to our series here, we've proven scientifically, time and again, that the dice hate me more than Roger. <laughs> yeah, um, there's been strings where it switches sides. It, it's, it does seem like, but uh, <laughs> it's just... Uh, two cavalry losses, and Forrest fumbles the ball! Yeah, we're going to attempt an assault wood with Kimball. Take him to T3. We'll try this. Disorganize. So we'll attempt it. So here's the attempt. It's a five, which does come off. And so um, the ratio is so the type's going to be a plus one. Uh, tactical is going to be a plus one. Uh, ratio is seven to two. two. So that's a plus two for ratio. Uh -huh. Uh, the final flank, I have all six hexes covered, but you have a flanks refuse. So the final flank is going to be a plus two. Mm -hmm. uh, artillery, I have two guns to your one gun. One. And that's on rolling, so that's going to be a minus one artillery. That's right. So looks like a plus five. So it's a so plus five final, yeah. Union left, Confederate right. Oof. Man, if, mm. how many ones is that for me tonight? <laughs> Just look, Lots. look on them. Lots. All right, so uh, it's a plus six, so uh, I'm going to lose one. And yeah. uh, I'm going to take it off of Armstrong, so his manpower will decrease. And he will also go to take the whole four. I lose his entrenchments. Neat, and then demoralize is what? Control B. So they'll both be demoralized. Control B, and they must go one, two, three, four, five. You know what? They'll just go to Dodson's Gap and get rid of that. So good attack. Okay. Eat me up. Um, Kimple will advance into. Advance in the... And uh, I have three manpower losses now. So, you're so four shot. pretty much. Okay, so this is going to be my net. It's yours. Uh, I will take Walthall to next entrenchment level. Increases fatigue. And he's in B1. Initiative, it's yours. Oh, it's not going to recover. I'll take him to T3. Be a single die. He gets to go two hexes before another one. He's going to go to the cottage gen. One, two, init. It's mine. I'm going to pass. Okay. I'm going to. I think I'm going to let everybody get better. I don't know. Maybe I should have right. somebody here. But... I'm going to take Walthall to four, and he'll finish his breastworks. Uh, init. It's mine. Um, I will pass. I'm going to pass as well. Okay, so we recover. Okay. And it is on to verify the day two of two. It is. All right, well, sports fans, it's some dark <laughs> clouds over the away team's field. So that's uh, not looking very promising for the Confederates tonight, I don't think. But would you like to make any leader transfers for turn two? I'll leave. Yeah, I'll leave everybody where they are. I think. All right. I believe I will. I will move.
move Forrest over to Chalmers. That will be all. And here is our die roll for first init. And it's a high tie, so that's mine. It's yours. Yep. Okay. I think we will have Bell activate. Increases fatigue. Buford will march him. Here's his movement. Plus two. It is a seven. An extended march for him. He's okay. So two, three, four, five, six, and seven to Linville Station. Uh, initiative. It's mine again. We'll have Forest activate Biffle. Increase their fatigue. Here's their movement. Plus three. It's ten. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five to there. Initiative. It's yours. Wilson will activate. Actually, he's just going to activate Hammond. Two dice plus two for him. That's seven, eight, nine. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine to there. Initiative. It's mine again. Uh, Wilson will activate your hatch with Stuart. Extend marks is two die plus two for them. Twelve. Extend march. Five. So he can go twelve because he was activated by Wilson. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So he could go seven, eight, nine to there. Initiative. It's mine again. Uh, Wilson will activate the three guys under him. Uh, two die plus two. Seven, eight, nine. Coon and Wilson will go first. One, two, three, four, five. So Crux and Harrison will go to the same spot. Initiative. It's mine. We're going to attempt, Wilson's going to attempt a course. So we're just going to activate Hammond and Coon. Here's the attempt. It's a four, so only one comes in. So we'll bring in Hammond. So it's, the ratio is three to one, so plus two ratio. The flank is a plus one because I have all six hexes covered. It's Cav makes it plus two, and then uh, multiple hexes come off because of Zoc, but I always get the plus one since I've got all six hexes covered. Uh, no artillery because it's woods, no tactical, and the type is a plus one. So the final is plus four. That's what I see. Okay, there might be a waste here. Plus four final. Nope. Not. Not, not, a, <laughs> not at all, <laughs> sir. Uh, they... Uh, one of them gets wiped out. So, delete. Actually, it's 8 plus 7. Yeah, one gets wiped out. Yeah, so delete. Uh, the other one goes to demoralize 2. And uh, I'll give you another manpower loss. So you are now at 12. You're one shy. And they will go 1, 2, 3, and 4. I think you've cracked the, the secret on this one, is just go for blood. Yeah. We had talked about that in the first game, but uh, yeah, it seems like if you can just bring the forces to bear, just smack them around a little bit, because once you start, it's cascading. Yeah, um, and, and the two cav retreats, that really helped. Okay, init. And Mine again. And, and, and the strings a lot. Are... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I've got a plant. No, I'll wait. Uh, I've got a plant. No, I'll wait. Okay, so he's a half. Oh, yeah, but I've got a creek, man. <laughs> yeah, you do. You have a creek. <laughs> and artillery. And artillery. 
Once again, not asking for a bunch of fives and sixes. I just want one thing to go my way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you haven't had any luck at all tonight. It's been amazing. Uh, Wilson will activate Hatch to Fatigue 3, so he'll need an extended march. Two die, plus two. No, that's your eight. Here's his extend. Four. Hmm. Yeah. Plus one, so he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. One, two. Yes, go for it. No. Because <laughs> I can't. I'd have to get an amazingly good roll to get the... But, I mean, if you do get it, if you wipe him out, that's it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven to their initiative. It's mine again. Wow. This is just... Very, very I will just sit here, be quiet. Wilson will activate Croxton and Harrison. And Coon as well. Two dice plus two. Six. Here's Coon's extended marks. One die plus two for him. He's going to go one. Uh, Coon is actually just the plus one for fatigue. Because the cavalry don't get the plus one for the... Oh, unit. okay. He's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, Harrison's extend march. Just a regular roll for him. He does flip. He's going to join Coon. Croxton. He's okay. Wilson's going to go with Croxton. Initiative, yours. Okay. Buford will go to three. And here's his march. It's 12. Here's his extended plus one. He's okay. So, one, two, three. Uh, and when he gets there, he will put a flying refuse up. Uh, initiative. It's mine. Um... I'll have Walful start building that pretty fort. So if T goes up, I'm entrenched to a fort. Okay. Uh, initiative. It's yours. Okay. Um, Wilson's going to activate Hammond T3. Here's his movement. It's nine. Here's his extend march. He's okay, right? Four plus one. That's plus right. One yeah, that. he's still okay. Okay, Wilson's going to transfer to Hammond. One, two, three, four. So he has five remaining. So you have one manpower with one artillery. So we're going to attempt an attack. So what I see is going to be a normal attack. So the ratio is 3 to 1, so the ratio is going to be a plus 2 for ratio. There's no tactical. There's obviously no flank. But I have a flanks refused, so you get a plus 1 for that, since there is no Plus flank. 1 for flanks refused, right. Um, minus 1 for the creek, and minus 1 for artillery. So it's a final of a plus 1. 2, 3 up, and 2 down, or 1 down? Uh, two, 2 down. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, plus 1. Okay, plus one attack, plus two result. <laughs> you are getting everything in spades tonight, sir. Yeah, I am. I, I admit that. Man, Wait. yes, I know. You, I know you are. All right, so uh, they're just fatigued out and just have to retreat. And everyone's already disorganized. Delete, and we'll just go. Um. It's not enough to win me the, the hex. i got to get infantry in there now. Yes, that is correct. I'm going to go there. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Why you do that? Set up a flank. He's Hammond's done. I think I'll leave him at Linville Academy, actually. Um, that would be wise. Initiative. It's mine. 
So I guess it's now a question of Wood can march his boys. Can Wood march those boys? Let's see. This okay, is this why is the classic. people are here. Do I activate everybody? Do I activate them one at a time? Lose the plus one. The sword of Damocles over his head. We're going to activate Wood's going to activate Kimball and Beg Bietti. We went one die plus one. Five. Still called it. Wood's, <laughs> Wood's going to transfer to Bietti. I don't think that's going to matter, but Kimball's going to go. I am going to force March him. So he starts off. I have a movement of five. Kimball's force March, and Wood's going to stay with him. I take that back. What's going to stay with Kimball? Here's his force march roll. It's a three, so he's going to lose a manpower. Maybe enough to cause an issue. Yes, it is, actually. So he picks up two, so he can go seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. He gets to Linville Station. Um... Yaddy's going to do the same thing. He's also going to force march. So he's going to flip. He starts off with a five. Here's his four. He gets a whopping six. So he loses two manpower. He can now go an additional five. So he can go ten. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. He can join Wood Initiative. It's mine. Well, we're going to take them to fatigue three. Kimball and Beatty. There's their movement. They can go four. They're both going to do just a min move. We'll move uh, Kimball first. So this is going to be a plus two? Uh, no, just plus one for him. Because he's going to plus. fatigue level two. Okay, standard march plus one. He loses a manpower. But he can go to there. Here's uh, Yaddy's extend march. He's okay. So they go to there. Initiative. It's mine. Take them to take three. Here's their movement for what it's worth. Four. Uh, Kimball's extend march. Four plus. It's, uh, plus two now. Two. So he loses the manpower again. He, and finally, Bietti's extend march. He's okay. Initiative. It's yours. Okay, well. I have to respond to that, so uh, let's see. You got five guns there, and I've got two. It's just a minus one. Is it still? Okay. Yep. All right, well, this is what the people came to see. So let's, <laughs> let's see the the forest versus wood show here. Uh, we're going to activate Biffle and Walthal for an attempted assault, right? Because you mm -hmm. can do both. All right, so um, that is two units. Here's the command roll, and it fails. Oh. Yeah. Hey, you, come on! You knew that was coming. <laughs> Didn't I, did I send you of. over? I the, did tonight. <laughs> Didn't I send you the script? <laughs> All right. Here's the next initiative. It's mine again. All right. For all the marbles, one more time. Walthall goes there. Biffle goes up. Here's the uh, attempt and assault again on wood. And there you it comes it. in. Okay. All right. So let me, let me get my scratch paper here. We got one for assault. We got one for uh, bonus. Um, artillery is on minus one. And then the ratio is five to eight. So that is a minus one. Okay. Here we go. Plot veteran on the right. Nope. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> This Not game, man. This game. Uh, you know what? It's over. <laughs> it 
it's over. Yeah, that doesn't. That Thank, doesn't yeah. Thankfully, it's over. Come, <laughs> come, gentle bombs. All right. Uh, so that's a minus one. I'm assuming that's a one D at least for me. So combat chart uh, with five. Yes, it's one D. So final score then I believe is going to be fifteen thirty for you. So congratulations. That is a got to be a union decisive, without a doubt. Thirty points. How did I get to 30? Because you have the colored church and 15 manpower losses. I've got five losses at three, so that's 15. Oh, okay. Or I mean, a plus 30 in your favor. I don't even. I don't even have to pull the the iPad up for that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's that's union decisive. Yeah. So congratulations. You. What a way to finish off the basic scenarios. Forrest just could not get the anything done tonight. Final thoughts. Go ahead. I'll let you start. Well, going in, I looked at this over the week after our last playthrough, and I felt like I had to push down the railroad. That was the shortest path and stay out of the woods to the uh, west there because I had to set up flanks and then try to do what I did. I got very, you know, I, everything fell my way. I mean, I'll be the first to admit that. It was, um, got some good, great initiatives. I'm pleased with how I set up my flanks. I felt tonight. I, I think I did a nice job with that. Especially as, as as challenging it is to set up flanks on cavalry when you're using a mixed force of setting up half of it is you know the 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 pinning force is the cavalry, but then you're coming in with the infantry and then we're going to skitter away. So I, I the the two that you got where you you forced me to retreat and then you got the the retreat losses on the cav retreat was those, yeah, those that were was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, those those are you know those are obviously bonus points. Um, the one thing I noticed when I was looking at the the mix of forces I had, I made the decision to keep Coon, Harrison, and Croxton together to get my artillery up to three. Mm -hmm. That's good. So that I could I could balance you know try to take that minus one art off right. uh, off the, off the game as much as possible. Though yeah. it never really came into play necessarily, other than this last attack at Linville Station. And um, and, and I learned a valuable lesson as well about. Uh, the forward defense, as as you know, you called it, um, that overcommits. That really does overcommit because then you made the decision to come down the other way, and now I've got I had Buford sitting up there with a nice block on the road, but just totally ineffective because that was not the way you were going to go at that point. So now I have to waste fatigues to pull him away from there. Um, I got a little frisky. I thought I could set up a nice uh, uh, full flank on when wood oh, got down yeah. there and then of course lost the next initiative yeah. so that yeah. that was yeah. unfortunate because i was willing to make a, a nice risk on a uh, risky attack at a minus two or three ratio to make up for or flank that i was going to get so uh, initiative says no sir you're not doing that yeah yeah i had initiatives went you know i had a nice string of initiatives that really let me get away from that and then i had Obviously, the combat rolls clearly sure. went yeah. my way tonight. That yeah. that obviously makes the game a lot easier. <laughs> so that makes makes the general look very nice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, it keeps the epaulets polished and <laughs> and, and the, the the cav retreats too. That was just those were yeah, bombs. That's well, that's great. Well, but I mean, there there is a tactic to that when you when you bring uh, Kimball or somebody who's a seven or a ten or whatever, <laughs> and I'm a one out in the open. That that is bowling for dollars, right there. Yeah. You're just gonna, you know, I'm not gonna stick around. So I'm either gonna take a, you know, a plus nine ratio, or, uh, or I'm gonna roll a sixteen percent chance, and sixteen percent came up twice. So, hey, you know, it happens. And, and the other thing that that I completely owe, you know, that the, the lessons you taught me going all the way back to Stonewall Jackson's way when we played those. Uh, and people should go back and watch those and watch. I think doing units, not okay. I can motivate, I can, I, yeah, I can activate everybody. Uh, not always a good thing. You know, that, that's a pick your spot when you right. want to do that. And yeah. So I, I, cause I had some bad rules tonight, but it didn't hurt me cause it only affected one or two units instead of it, affecting exactly. the whole stack. Exactly. And you were also not in a position where, a loss of initiative the next time was going to be critical uh, since you were getting the strings. Um, and then you decided very, I think smartly. Yeah. Let's, let's only move a couple of the infantry and see what's going to happen. And then you pick the appropriate time to force March them there in the, at the end. So again, all great points of decisions that uh, you were not under any pressure. 
So that's, you can make well, a nice cohesive decision like that. Again, playing this reversed, I learned last week, as you find, <laughs> you don't have enough guys. You've got to just, so I knew the only moving one unit really wasn't going to hurt me for initiatives because you couldn't afford to do anything. You exactly. had to wait to see exactly. what I was going to do. Right. But even if I had a bad roll, all that meant for you was you had a bad roll. Right. It didn't like telegraph. Oh, it just what means to it's going to it's going to be another you know twenty minutes before he shows up in my face anyway. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, this was. I, I said last week I wasn't very pleased, and you were right. I was like, okay, yeah, it worked out. But tonight I'm actually yeah. Felt like no, it. no, this one was a well well fought Union victory for this one. I mean, obviously with with the decisive, that's great. Uh, Wood Wood did exactly what I kind of expected after you got the force marches, even though I, he had to stop it at Linville Station because that was his movement, and then just two individual little uh, one hex moves. Yeah, one hex moves. And, I, well, those, I was I was doing fine. the math. Yeah, on, right. They might not make it if I don't push them. Right. They could then, they could end up stuck at Dotson's Gap. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't I wasn't sure if you were going to try to set up a, a northern flank to to pin. Uh, and and I when I saw when I saw that you just were using all that to get them down there, I said, okay, yeah, he's he's going to just do the inchworm. And once you get into the colored church, that's that's it. Now I have to react. Yeah, and... I, I, you have to force me out. And it was possible you could have gotten it. I mean, going it flips out. It's a three six. You 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 push me out of there. So exactly. And and then Elliot's in a position now. He's got to scramble down there and try to get yeah into that space without leadership. So I thought I had a. I mean, even you you, uh, gentle viewers watching this, there was a good possibility if I had not flubbed the the first art, uh, oh. attempt. You know, who knows what would have happened on that one, but yeah. that just builds the intrigue, and then the second one just just failed. Yeah. Uh, so you know, it's a, a bittersweet end of the series for me. But congratulations, you you went two Thank for you. two on that Devil Forest uh, cavalry, uh, and and there are other people that we know that play this system very well. Uh, I cavalry is still not my strength, and uh, to have a situation like this where it is especially on defense where all you have is cavalry. <laughs> I mean, there's only so many, so much trickery you can do with cavalry screening and they're getting hurt. They're wearing out every time you do that. And Forrest just didn't really have a chance to go on the offensive tonight because you kept everything bundled up, which was smart. And he's certainly not going to go after full infantry. So yeah, at some point I just realized at the beginning of day two, all right, just pull him back to Linville. You know, just pile them up and see if we can mount a, a final defense there. And yeah, it, it it could have, but it didn't, and that's cool. Yeah, it could have, it could have. Yeah, this was this is one of those where the final decisive is really not. It really true. is. It it's <laughs> it, right. It's it's intriguing to the very end, to be sure. But uh, you know, once once you use up all your your credits, that that's it. You know. It, yeah. So well, uh, good. Good game, and uh, we move on from here. And we, uh, as we do each and every week, we hope you've enjoyed watching this. And please do take a moment to like and subscribe the channel. And uh, if you want to leave some comments down there, we certainly love to hear the feedback. We've got our frequent flyers that give all of their uh, very constructive comments, and we yeah. love that. I, you know, I, I, I always wait for a day or two afterwards, and I get to see those comments, and I sit there and I go, oh yeah, I missed that too. So we really appreciate that, and we hope you are as excited as we are at the point where you watch this video. This could be two years in the future, but uh, yeah, the, uh, the the playlist for the campaign will continue on from here, and uh, I know, I hope you're as excited as we are to do it, because there's so much potential in the Great Campaign's advanced games, and we hope to spotlight that for you. I'm looking forward to it, because I'm, uh, and this will be interesting, because it's a You've got to go all the way across and then go all the way back. <laughs> it's capture the flag. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 very interesting how yeah. this one uh, will play out. I think so. I'm I'm excited about it. Yeah, me too. Again, thank you for watching, and Roger, have a great vacation, and we will see oh, you when you. you get back. And uh, have a good one, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye.